Well, controversy continues to swirl around the delivery of emergency medical services in the city of Stockton. Now the county's EMS agency is talking about the issue. KCRA3's Rich Iber live in Stockton, where a news conference just wrapped up. Rich? That's right. Many of the firefighters here in Stockton showed up there, but they weren't allowed to come in. However, they were there in support of the city and against the county's position. But let me give you a little background. When an emergency medical comes in, the Stockton Fire Dispatch sends out an engine with two paramedics and also sends for an ambulance. But the county has the final say on that service. It wants calls to be routed to the ambulance service first and firefighters called if need be. So now the county says firefighters can perform basic life services, but not advanced life saving such as defibrillation. Until the county and city come to an agreement. The county said today in a press conference that lives are not being endangered. Regardless of who gets there first, the first three to five minutes of every call is used to provide basic life support care. And we know from looking at the data from Stockton Fire and AMR, on average, response times for both providers is less than five minutes, and the difference between arrival times between the two is 33 seconds. This is about today. It's about people in the streets that don't have the choice. They pick up their phone, they call 911, they need a paramedic there quickly. This is what our service is, and it always has been. Now, here's a five page agreement that the county wants the city to sign, and basically would reroute the calls to the AMR service, ambulance service, instead of going through the fire dispatch first. However, the county, or rather, the city is still. Uh, trying not to sign that agreement, trying to find some other solution where it can still use the paramedics and advanced life-saving techniques. Morning Live in Stockton, Rich Iabera, KCRA 3 Reports.